standing on your feet if you've got your bible can you just hold it in your hand so that we make a confession uh, we invoke the same spirit who raised jesus from the dead to be alive to quicken our mortal body to give us revelation in the knowledge of god and to open up the eyes of our understanding in jesus name whatever means that you use to read the bible just hold it in your hand it can be a physical bible or a smartphone or an ipad or a tablet it doesn't matter as long as we can read together the word of god repeat after me just say this bible, this bible is god speaking to me, speaking to me. I, believe I believe i receive, I receive the, word the word of god as the truth, as the truth. nothing but the truth for my life right now today in jesus name amen while you are standing open with me luke chapter number 10 luke chapter number 10 i'm reading from verse number 25 luke chapter number 10 we are reading from verse number 25 luke 10 verse 25 oh Baba Gia Bunga Nange Tisi Mise Gia Mangiti Oh Gum Sindhi if you've got it let me hear you say amen. amen we read from verse number 25 the bible says then a certain lawyer arose to try or to test jesus saying teacher what am i to do to inherit everlasting life verse 26 jesus said to him what is written in the law how do you read the very same law verse 27 he replied you must love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your strength and with all your mind and also love your neighbor the same way you love yourself verse 28 and jesus said to him you have answered correctly do this then you will leave 29 and he determined to acquit himself or reproach he said to jesus and who's my neighbor verse 30 jesus taking him up he replied a certain man was going from jerusalem down to jericho and he fell amongst the robbers who stripped him of his clothes and in belongings they beat him and they went their way leaving him half dead as it happened verse 31 now by coincidence or by chance a certain priest was going down along the same road and when he saw that man he passed on on the other side of the road 32 a levite likewise came down to the place and saw him and passed by also on the other side of the road verse 33 but a certain samaritan as he traveled along came down to where he was and when he saw him he was moved with pity sympathy compassion for this man verse 34 and he went to him and dressed his wounds pouring on the them oil and wine then he set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him and the next day he took out two denarii which is equals to two days salary and gave to the innkeeper saying take care of him and whatever more you spend i will repay when i return verse 36 which of these three do you think proved himself a neighbor to this man who fell amongst the robbers and he answered the one who showed pity mercy for him and jesus said to him go and do way you may be seated in the presence of the lord the bible says the grass one day will wither and the flowers will fade away but the word of our god shall stand forever. father we thank you this morning that you are here now 
in our midst. Speak to us, Holy Spirit, we are listening. I activate the atmosphere of revelation knowledge. Open up the eyes of our understanding. I bind all the activi activities of the devil. Whatever spirit that is sent to take away our concentration, I bind him. I loosen only the spirit of the living God to speak to us today, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. And uh, if you watch the video online, one hal a capture us on to your high. So I stab us out of Kubawa, so you will think I'm one of my Niko Kupaleva fed the seats, Kumarao, so that have an abala, one an apostle, I go to Nanzal, it's okay, there's nothing wrong with them. But the two sambats are just to sit at the back because when they cry, sound to your one a capture in the mic, and you don't know who's listening. Among who really is online. Before we get into the word, and that the know him, he's here with me and trusting God who will organize a transportation every Sunday to collect them. The founders of this church, we need to bring them back so that we celebrate for the good things that are dealing in our lives. How you a long life, honor your parents so that your days must never ever 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 be shortened on earth in jesus name on this morning of the 18th of february 2024 allow me to speak to you on the subject titled who is your neighbor who is my neighbor come on look at somebody are you for me or are you against me Ask them, are you for me or are you against me? Are you my or are you against me? I need to know whether you are for me or you are against me. I can't just assume or we are on the right track. I don't know. I don't know what you plan in the middle of the night. So I just want to know who's my neighbor. Are you for me or are you against me? That person is for you. It doesn't mean when we hug each other, when we welcome each other in church, that somebody is for you. So you must be alert. Or is that person for you or that person against you? Some of you, you woke up next to somebody who's against you and you are not even aware that person is not in your team. As we live here, somebody's going to save you a meal. And you are not even aware that person is for you or against you. That's why I'm not like this Because you allowed people who are not for you to feed you. How about the book of 2 Timothy 3? Paul writes a letter to Timothy and he's prophesying about the times that are coming, the last days. He says to him, Timothy, my son, my son, in the last days life will be very very difficult to be a christian as you can see today it's not easy to be a christian why because people will be lovers of themselves and their money people will be proud and boastful people will be critical concerning god people will be disobedient to their parents people will be ungrateful to anything that happens in their lives and people will be thoroughly bad. The very same people in the last days, they will be hard-headed, hard-headed or and people will never, will always give up towards other people. People will be constant liars in the last days. People will be troublemakers. People will be thinking nothing of immorality. They will be rough. Some will be cruel. Some will sneer at those who try to be good. People will prefer having good times instead of Yes, but they won't really believe anything that they hear the pastor preach. They will be taken in by people like that. In the King James Version area, people will have a form of godliness with no power. 
That's why the majority of our churches are in a form of godliness, but there is no power. We walk by faith, but there's no evidence here. I'm sorry, we are walking by faith, not by sight. A person who's got a form of godliness, they call the loudest amen whenever somebody preaches. They clap their hands, they run, they do everything. But as soon as they exit there, they forgot what the pastor was preaching. Come on, instead of got a form of godliness, but on the inside, there are no results. They are just the same. So be aware of those people we are living in those days as we speak. I told you this story. Some of you, you know it. Some of you, you don't know it. If you know the story, it's fine. You can close your ears and ask one pota will be like a narrator. Somebody has it. So relax. Stay at your position. There was this man who had a child and a wife, and then the child was about six months old, and the wife died. As the wife died, then this man uh, got a new job moved outside town, he came to Tabazimbi. I'll just give an example for Tabazimbi's sake. Then he came to Tabazimbi to come and work here. He's a Christian. So then on the weekend, he decided, let me go and search for other Christian churches around the place so that I can go and fellowship. Remember, the wife has just died three, four months ago, and he's raising a six-month baby alone. There's no help. There's no anything. Then he came to church like we are today. And then the, the six months year old baby, you know them, Mosagreba, they like playing, they are chacharak, they are doing everything, balalaba, rasa, everything. You know, this baby is making noise, like I'm preaching, it's making noise, it's running around with a So those older women, holier than thou's, you know them. Boneba halalela of it, a legion. No meola emela dia, a push in a high at Lapa Manola, Manola, Rajidi Malamo Latele. Only to find out that the father is still mourning. He's not even aware of the baby's making noise inside church. Then they hit the, the child. Then it, 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 it hit that man. Then he left. Then when he got home, he had some stress. Then he decided, you know what, let me go and pass in one of the pubs. Maybe to take two or three glasses, I'll be well. Then he went to go to the VIP section. He arrived there, he ordered a glass of whatever people drink, and then when he held that glass like this, his hands were shaking, glass Eliatella, it fell ground, and then it broke, you know, laid the stuff inside. And everybody within the pub, they just came running to that guy, Chief, are you, are you okay? No, I'm okay. And then the barman gave him the same drink, Agitili uh, Visa in a house or on a house. In the house, okay. Thank you, Mata Now they gave him a free drink in a the house, then he drank that drink, and then the other guys they came, they accompanied him, they drank, then in the evening that guy went home. Do you think or next week Sunday he will wake up and go to church? He went first to church to the place where he expected to get help. He was rejected. But in a place where he never expected to get help, people came through and supported him. The question that you would send that man, who is your name? You thought church, I'm going to find neighbors, but they treated my child bad. In a place, an evil place, that's where this guy found a neighbor. Who is your neighbor? Coming back to the text in Luke chapter 10, verse number 25. Jesus or a certain lawyer arose to try him or to test him. So that means whatever this lawyer is going to ask is not a genuine question. It's a question to test. Like somebody, most of you, you, you like calling me, Maruti, is there any verse in the Bible that says sex before marriage is a sin? Why is or you are on the brink of having sex? Now you want to quantify or that verse is not in the Bible so that whatever I'm about to do, I mustn't feel guilty. So that question is not because people need an answer, but it's a question that tests your vocabulary or Anna, can they find a scapegoat in one of the laws that you have given us? So leaving this lawyer, what I'm more just, so he's an intelligentsia, he's an educated man. When you say a lawyer, it's somebody who studied the mosaic law. He knows the mosaic law. You can't come against these guys. He's one of the, the Pharisees and the scribes of, of the day. Then he asked Jesus a testing question. He says, teacher or rabbi, what am I to do to inherit everlasting life? He didn't say 
inherit the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God lives on the inside of me. The kingdom of heaven, it's up there where we are going when we die, provided you did not accept the Lord Jesus as your savior. So he, he's asking him, how can I inherit eternal life? How can I live forever? So that means when he asked this question somewhere, he heard Jesus preaching about eternal life and God. God. So that's why Adam was just, what is it that I can do in order to be part of eternal Not a genuine question. It's a question of testing what Jesus will respond all about. And it's not an ordinary person who asks this question. It's the person who knows the answer, but he wants to test him. You remember that woman over in the very act, what, what surprises me, this woman, okay, in the olden days, never study style, it's a little very sanga joke. So in the olden days, Jesus, the Mosaic law says a woman whom we caught sleeping with another man, the law said he must be stoned. The law is on our side. It must be stoned. Now we brought him to you because you preach grace and grace and grace. We want to hear what's your opinion on this matter. The issue is about the woman that they caught in the very act. Because the law allows them to stone this woman. Now why must you bring him to Christ? Because the law offers you that thing. So they brought that woman, not because they wanted the woman, but they wanted to grab Jesus. Even this guy, when he comes with this question, the purpose was to grab Jesus on his sermons so that he can catch him. What I'm trying to say, as a Christian in life, you must be careful of what I call the wolves. Even in church, we've got the wolves. Can I get most one? Can you get a yeah, a wolf, and it doesn't come as if it's a wolf. It comes wearing a sheep skin. Even in church, we've got those people that you call the wolves. They are not interested in the truth. They are just here to pick up a statement in my conversation and run with it. How about a newspaper? Newspaper doesn't give the whole story, especially the first page. They pick up a statement within the conversation, they put it there. Then you run with the headlines without reading the news. So even in church, we've got wolves that are wearing sheepskin. In Setswana, me, I'm a petty guy. In Setswana, Lona Lere, Meno, Masuyu, Abulaya, Anze, Atsecha. Meaning, Kaskhoa in English, do not be impressed by the white and friendly smile that people give to you. Behind that smile, there's a snake waiting to bite you. We've got wolves wearing sheepskin. Verse 26, Jesus said to him, what is written in the law? Remember, he speaks to a, a lawyer who specializes in the mosaic law. So he returns, he doesn't answer him. He returns the question back to him. Or the law that you studied for seven years, what does it say? When you read the law, what does the law say? And underline, Jesus didn't specify which law. He just asked him, what does the law say? Remember, last week I told you, we've got two systems of laws that work together. In the Olden Testament, Renale, the Ten Commandments, they were under the Mosaic Law. Mara, in the New Testament, the Giluruti, the last Tiki, the new law that Jesus gave us, love the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your strength, all of your soul, and love the person you are standing next to the same way you love yourself. That is the law that Jesus gave us. So he asked him a question, what does the law that you studied said? Since this man was a lawyer and he was a student of the Mosaic law, my expectation in Elohore, when he answers Jesus, he's going to give him the Ten Commandments, the book of Leviticus, he's going to give it to him just like that. The reply of this man, verse 27, and he replied, the law says, you must love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, 
with all of your strength, with all of your mind. And it also says, uh, love your neighbor the same way you love yourself. That means Okota Mark chapter number 12, verse 32, 31, that we dealt with last week. But this guy is a specialist in the Mosaic law. But what surprises me, when he answers Jesus, he doesn't answer based on the Mosaic law. He answers based on the teachings that Jesus gave in the synagogue in Mark chapter 12, when he taught the people about the new law. So he doesn't go back to Mosaic law. Jesus based on the statement, Saint William Jesus, somewhere. Verse number 28, and Jesus said to him, you have answered me, correctly do this meaning love the lord your god with all of your mind your spirit your soul and your strength and do what you shall leave meaning remember the initial questionnaire what shall i do to inherit eternal life that was the question now when jesus answered him Umar, follow the new law that i gave you which doesn't erase the, the mosaic the mosaic law they are still standing even today Mara, if you can run the law that i gave you the law of love it won't be difficult for you to obey the ten commandments the reason why you can't stop lying because you fail on the aspect of love the reason why you can't stop yourself from envying somebody's wife or somebody's husband is because you fail on the first law, the law of love. The reason why you can't help yourself from stealing is because you fail on the first law. Once you specialize on the law of loving your neighbor as you love yourself, the first one is to love God, your God, with everything that is within you. Once you specialize in that one, these ones are little ones. You don't even struggle about them because wherever there's love, lies cannot exist in you. The reason why it's about number one in your life is when you give me an answer in Alemaka. Simple one. I call you. Where are you? Lena don't like that question. Muruti, where are you? I'm thinking twice or I need space this day. If I say I'm at home, this person already modeling, I'm coming. If I say I'm in North America, I'm in North America. If I say ke mo entry ke go zulu natalo tla mpotsore ke moemele ko Harry Smith ko that question is tough you don't know how to answer it every time when somebody asks you that question you always tell a lie before you can tell the truth so be careful of those things ke tsona tsa di bontsa ngore god is not in you i remember one day i was driving uh, usually when i drive i don't give people lifts especially those who don't give People who don't give, I don't give them lifts. Yeah, no, a driver. Next to stop sign is somebody filming. This guy, he he literally stops me. I go, when you want a lift, you do this, ne? Or we visit Moy, you know, whatever you do, your your signs. This guy stopped me literally. So and it was hot. Heat wave, I'm sure never tabo for the three degrees Celsius. And I go to me like corn. And I get paga wadla. We are the first and such. Eh, the guy me bra, get it. Oh, yeah, guy. <laughs> Chief, you stop me like there's an accident. When I stop, you ask me where am I going. And remember, I'm reaching the T junction. At the T junction, is either I'm turning left, I'm going to town, I'm going to Maregele, or I'm going uh, Le Palale Road or somewhere. When I turn right, I'm going to Northam, I'm going to Pretoria Brez, or I'm going to Rastenberg. Now, how do you get Any answer you can find man, I'm going to go to the town. So be careful of those kind of questions that people ask you. Now, Jesus tells him, you answered me correctly. Do this, meaning obey the law of love. Then you shall live forever. And remember, 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 the question was to test Jesus. Was not to get an answer. It was to test Jesus. Now, Jesus answered him, verse number 29. And I don't like this. When, when you come to me, ne? The first question that you ask me, please put them in one uh, paragraph so that when I answer, I answer everything. What I don't like is the follow-up question. And let me tell you a secret. The follow-up question, that is the real question. Can I repeat? The follow-up question, that is the real question. The first one was just to test your moyo fugela guy. Ask number one, then go on up with a follow-up question. That's why how Damona, tell me the whole story. Give me the benefit for me to answer you correctly. So let this guy, the first question, now he doesn't have anywhere to go. Verse 29, and he determined 
to acquit, he's a lawyer, to acquit himself of reproach. And he said to Jesus, who is my neighbor? Why is he asking this question? The last part of the law says, love your neighbor the same way you love yourself. That one, the first part, all of us inside this building, we don't have a problem with it. But the second part, all of us are not a problem alone. Part one, love the Lord your God, all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your mind, all of that one, we are fine with it. There's no problem. But on the last part, Hire, love your neighbor the same way you love yourself. Now, the question is, I know I love myself, but now, who's my neighbor? Who's my neighbor? Who's my neighbor? And I know all of us, we've got a problem. Yeah, who's my neighbor? God, we love him. We don't have a problem with him. But who is your, your neighbor? We ain't got dictionary. Neighbor is somebody that you associate with, even though you don't see each other every day. That is your neighbor. Your neighbor can be your colleagues at work because you see them every day. Your neighbor can be your employer who doesn't speak well when he speaks to you specifically, but he smiles when you talk to other people. My first job, 1998, I was working in Pretoria. And then my first day in office, when I arrived, uh, they introduced me to all my colleagues and I was the only beetroot on top of rice. You understand me, ne? I was the only black person in the midst of the whites. And I found them speaking Africans. Now it means to accommodate me in their meetings, Chinese English, 1998. That was my first job. Tea time, this one guy, we just believe, like we are still friends. We just became close. And then he took me to the kitchen to drink coffee. When we arrived at the kitchen, I opened the whatever, I found the cups, I took one, made tea, and we drank tea. And then the boss came, the supervisor came, he found us drinking tea. He didn't drink tea that day, he went into the office. Fine, we put our, our cups inside the, the zinc, we go back to work. After we sat down, two minutes later, I had a breaking of a coffee mug. Somebody was breaking it on the ground. When we rushed, there is the boss breaking the very same coffee mug that I used to drink tea. Apparently, he's the only one who's using that cup. Now I just arrived, I took his cup, drank it. And when I was in the morning, I was 18 in February 2024, I was already the same boss is your neighbor. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. Some of them are the employees, you've got a business, you are running a company. There will always be a wolf amongst the sheep. Labai zake. Barado iti radi shop store. The babu el lababa. Labai zwa ba ma ka mudi company. Muta tingi nek shop store timu ale muti. Ubu el lababa mara pila pila kena abatang increase. No babiri ki barba nyaka mara kia ne pila pila abatang increase. Mo company. Oh mo mo tering asna le nix. Asna futu mala ka mara pende. Ko hone noka insan the true colors or kena mang. The employees can be your neighbor. The person sitting next to you at this very moment, what time is it? 12.26, uh, that person is your neighbor. And I don't think I'm stupid. Every time when we greet each other in church, like in Zimo, I can see behind my head, who's hugging who? You guys, you hug those that you are comfortable around them. The rest, you don't hug them. You don't hug them. We welcome two guests. How many did they come and hug you? If you count. How many? Two. One more than 100. Two of you came and hugged them. Mm -hmm. But you call them your neighbor. Some of you, your neighbor is your pastor. He always preaches things that you don't want to hear. He's your neighbor. Some of you... This one, I'm, I'm a bit going deeper. 
is your baby mama and your baby daddy. I remember I was speaking to somebody the other day, uh, the baby or uh, does, is, is the father active on the life of the baby? No, Murudi, he's not active. Why? Since this baby was born, he has never said anything to me. I don't want that guy next to my our children, my child. That person is your neighbor. Don't worry, I'm not intimidated when there's no amen. <laughs> neighbor also can become your ex-wife or your ex-husband. That person is your neighbor. Neighbor can become skimmy sahau, your, your friends. Neighbor can also become somebody who's spreading false information about your name in the community where not say aware or people are talking about you. That person is your neighbor. To tell the truth, all of us, we don't have a problem with loving God. But the biggest problem, can we love our neighbor? We don't have a problem with coming here, holding a mic, worship God. That one we don't have a problem with. But the problem is that your neighbor. And remember, you can't claim that you love God if you hate Maki, your neighbor. I gave you a list. I have a neighbor. When I go deep, I know. That's why I let this lawyer, he ask a question. I don't have a problem with loving you, God, with everything I have. Mara, I've got a problem with this with your neighbor. And uh, the worst part, the way I must love my neighbor, it must be at the same scale as I love myself. If I'm wearing a 3,000, or oh, 3,000 is cheap, ne? how much is the storytelling expensive? Oh, this one is worth 15. If, if I wear a 15,000 uh, suit, me, the same person, the same person who's spreading false rumors about my name, I must buy him also a suit of the same value. That is my neighbor. We don't have a problem with loving God. Mara, who is my neighbor that I must love the same way I love myself? Verse 30. Are you still with me? Yeah. Or should I close here in Takolo? I get it all Takolo now lately. Kill Nusas Lalu, Sukulele, Hailum Bulele, Hailore, in a Melatava, but Momodim. Skalavala, this thing is not a push pit, it's a pull pit. You can't reach mountain top if we don't face reality that is standing before you. In fact, you can tell me who I forgave. Mara, I've never passed the test of forgiveness until the person who hurt me deeply comes and sit down at this chair. I'm sitting there, I'm about to preach. How I respond, that's what will show or I have forgiven this person. So forgiveness is not about what you say. Forgiveness is uh, your response to the person who hurt you. That will show that you are willing to do that. Let me tell you how many people are doing it. I don't know how many people are doing it. It's, it's, I don't know how many people are doing it. I don't know how many people are doing it. I couldn't wait for God, so I had to, to take whatever is available before me. And run with it. How do we need it? One need and need, one need and need. Uting, what's a million? Gapilu ya. Until we call about eight years. Uting, one need, what's a million? Bobo Shirafita, we are not exempted. There is one woman or one man who will run away with your heart. That's why we call them soul mates. They, they touch me to the level of my soul. But a life partner, they can walk with me from here to the way you are it's my partner in life we go but my soulmate it's somewhere since she took my heart to go primary lega jego ke le 55 years ke na le bana ba 50 le le ditloholo ha ka feta mo 
CPR because that person took your something out of you, just like that. And then go on or you forgave that person, or you never forgiven them. So it's easy to talk about these things, but when they happen, it's another story altogether. The question is, who is my neighbor? Verse 30. Then Jesus taking him up. I, I, I like this because uh, how they in a courtroom you take somebody up on their response. He replied and said, a certain man, he's giving a parable to answer this man, got a questionnaireing, who's my neighbor? Remember, remember, don't lose me. We are dealing with two questions here. Question number one, what can I do to inherit eternal life? Number two, who is my neighbor? Now the deal about the neighbor part, because how does it matter my neighbor? There's no way I can love the Lord the God with all of my heart, my spirit, my strength. There's no way. I, I, must, I must love God, love me, and love my name. So this love is over like this. It comes on me. Me, I pass it on to my neighbor. Verse 30, Jesus said a certain man was on his way from Jerusalem down to Jericho. And on the way, he fell among the robbers who stripped him of his clothes, belongings, and beat him and went their way, leaving him half dead as it happened. Verse 31, it ran now by coincidence. I'm sure verse now it ran by chance. Ne? Yeah, we're by. Balam baby lili na utamu ni mule. Kya leto hela kuna lmo kya mote. I know it's hot, but to my lili na there's something that I want to show you here. Ne? Your 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 version might say by by chance. Na agar by coincidence a certain priest was going along that means that means higher by chance or by coincidence that priest when he woke up in the morning he never planned to use that road along that road and when he saw him he passed on on the other side so the priest when he woke up in the morning his plan was not to use strata sailor, but somehow the spirit of the living God caused him to take that route. I see somebody who has been injured who need the help of that priest. So let us come back by coincidence. Ufita somewhere, monosa plan or ufita mote, mudimona le plane with your life. Now, the Bible says the priest Hamona. Uh, he didn't attend to this guy. He passed on the other side of the road. So that means it was a freeway, a two lane, two lane. The priest is coming. Hamona, a jumpela on the other lane, or Askakopanale, that guy. It was not his plan to go this route. Now, in the Bible, the primary role of a priest in the Bible is to be what we call a gatekeeper in the house of God. A gatekeeper is somebody who guards the whole building against evil spirit from penetrating into the house of God. That is the duty of the priest. Number two, the duty of the priest, Nele Hosea, the sacrifices that the people bring based on their sins. And I say in the mercy seat to offer that sacrifice on behalf of the people that has done wrong in the community. The third role, yeah, a priest was to make sure or offer the people of God instructions the way obey those instructions cutting key the duty yeah the priest the more Bible study we are busy on the book we are Leviticus and you realize story Leviticus it mostly deals about the purity and righteousness it's not much about the law the reason why God gave the Israelites the law was to instill the spirit of righteousness and purity on the inside of them. In today's context, a priest, you can call him Moa, not you are Moa. Or when I pastor, you see a priest today. But watch this. When the priest saw the injured person on the street, he took another road avoided that guy and he left and his duty is to guard the house of God for evil spirits his duty is to take the message from God and give it to the people that's my duty 
before you. Mara, when this guy Abuni Mola, then he avoided him and Atama. When we as the pastors fail to do our job, the results you are failing all of you. When I fail to do my job, that means the results are failing. Molona. Mara, if I specialize in the job that God gave me towards you, the results get to wanna success in you. That's why Paul Philippi, or is I'm begging for your money. No, no, no. I wrote this letter in order to bless you because my joy is to see you guys becoming prosperous and wealthy because of partnering with me in the ministry. So when the priest fail to do their job. Guess what? A curse will fall on the people. Mara, when the priest or the pastor does his job perfectly, then the blessing of the Lord will fall on you. In fact, there was no need for God to include the book of Malachi in the Bible. You know why the book of Malachi was there? It's because the people stopped tithing. When the people stopped tithing, the priest gets hungry. When the priest get hungry, the priest will go mining over the miracle. Now, my kill is the sacrifice next week. There is no priest who will welcome the sacrifice because the priest, they've abandoned the house of God. They are working out there. As a result, that's why Murimo, are you are cursed with a curse because everybody is not doing their job. You guys, you are supposed to tithe. The priest, you are supposed to do your job of sacrificing on behalf of the people. Now the temple is empty. Nobody's there. But now, the same priest, when he saw the injured person on the road, he passed by on the other side. Verse 32, the Bible says, A Levite likewise came down to the same place, and he saw that man. He imitated the priest. He passed on the other side of the road. The Levites, like the priests, what we call the musicians, in the house of God. Merkwa the Levites was to play music inside the tabernacle so that when the people come to give unto God, but create the atmosphere, as the gatekeepers, Baba protecting the temple. And they also worked as judges. You remember uh, Moses used to judge the Israelites alone, and then his father in law Jethro came and advised him, Moses, you will die. Appoint the judges that will assist you. That, that's when he appointed the Levites so that they can help him to judge over the people. And also, the Levites, it's what we call the craftsmen, people of skill. That's why in church we need electricians, we need carpenters, we need plumbers, we need engineers, we need uh, mechanics, we need everybody. Those people, under the bracket, yeah, the Levites. So that means in today's context, the Levites get the intercessory ministry. The Levites are the worshippers, the Levites are the ushers, the Levites are the people who maintain the building inside and outside, the Levites are the people who decorate the building, the Levites are the people who count the offering, the Levites are the custodians who keep the register of all the assets, the Levites are the church staff. And the Bible the same way the priest avoided this man, even the Levites and he never attended him. Verse 33. But a certain Samaritan, as he traveled along, came down to where this man was. And when he saw him, he was moved with pity, compassion, and sympathy for this injured man. Verse 34. And he went to him and dressed his wounds, pouring on them oil and wine. Then he sat on his own beast and brought him to an inn to take care of him. Verse 35, the next day he took out the two denarii, which is a salary of two days, and gave to the keeper of the inn, saying, take care of this man. Whatever you spend more, I will come and repay when I return. The Samaritans, biblically speaking, give a ring mixed blood. Get the half Jews, the half Gentiles. Those are the Samaritans. Banali, mixed blood, 
Kamarabone. Get title of Rigsan today, SM Munati, title of party, the Aure, the colored people, Kanawa party, the Nervavisa, the mixed blood, meaning get the seat eight shilling out of a Madi, a white person and a black person. So that's why we draw colors of which I'm, I'm believing or that title will, will get rid of it because it's not a nice one. Amurima Kredilamoto, Kredilamoto is a human being. Aona Kala, Aona Albino, Aona, we are all the same in the faces of God. But the Jews, Never were not the Samaritans in the mixed blood. They were unclean before them. You remember even the stories are the Samaritan women. Jesus was not planning to go through Samaria, but that day he decided to go through Samaria in order to preach to one woman in Samaria so that he can save the whole nation of Samaria. You remember the stories are 10 leprous men that were healed by Jesus. Only one of them came and gave thanks. And guess what? He was a Samaritan. The nine were the Jews, but only one person came and gave thanks to God. So the Samaritan, they were born out of that, that union, yeah, a half Jew and a half Gentile blood that brought in the Samaritan. So they saw them as mixed blood. So that means Mopila, the Jews, the Samaritan, they were dirty. Most of the Bible scholars, Badumela Hore, the Samaritan originated from the lineage here, uh, Joseph. You remember Joseph, who was rejected by his brothers, sold as a slave in Egypt. For another thing, when you are saved, it's when you act in a certain way, that's when you are saved. No, 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 no. It's an inside thing, it's not an outside thing. The Samaritan with an unclean blood who doesn't even qualify, whom the Jews doesn't want, he came and helped this man. And I don't know, I'm a student of the Bible, Agit. I can be wrong on this one. My assumption is this man was a Jew. This man who was robbed, my assumption, he was a Jew. And the people of his own, they passed me by. And help came from a source that he never expected that help to come from. What can I do? Well, about you, seeing Jesus face to face when you die. Break the four corner walls of the church. This is not Christianity. This is just an assembly of us meeting together. The real Christian life is outside the four corner walls of the church. That's why the people need us more than what you can do on the inside. The priest, the Levites, but look at their ministry within the four corner walls. But I realize already, the main work is on the outside there, not in here. That's why Jesus have a Or in Matthew chapter 5, verse 15. Or you guys, you are the light of the world. The duty, your light, it works in darkness. When it's light like this, we don't need light. That's why even at my house you can go. The lights are off because we've got the light of the sun out there. Light. Yes, Mulifi. Here's the Samaritan. Just away me at the gate of heaven. Which of these three is going to enter heaven? Deeper, deeper, deeper. Of course, I will ask for this question. Deeper, deeper. What is the Samaritan way of now? Let me see the late Billy Graham. He once said something, Ari. Most of us, when we get to heaven, we are going to be surprised. How, oh, Maggie? Where now? Where now? How about all the women in my street? I guess I'm a, our youth mother in about 70 to 80. There are a camp in the region. How do I can be in Kembe and Nemuna to Chanto Vitor Napil, Razamaga Piste, Vidil Kumbia one, and the winner Lovan Gigate. Yano Negitica, Youth Ministry, Casatares, Friday Nele, Quiet Practice, then Casatare Nele Youth Ministry. Now, one day I'm teaching. 
youth is inside the church, I'm teaching. Battles like battles like this, I'm teaching. This guy owns a mobile right here. Hat for Zorera, when you sell a Zomuru to Soriman, you are right on point, man of God, and I can see what you mean, what you are talking about. But I've got a question, okay? What's your question? Can I put a Muruti Gari? Like we made it, I'm a level. In a little time, I go to house last thing, language at the night, channel the language in church, in a lay some street language. Demons and Ruti, a heart to a moro groover, revolution. You groove a level on the demons. Recover another twelve, one in the morning. Maron Sunday morning, but I got Sara, Mike. And can I love Tatabahore? Lifestyle level is the same as my lifestyle. Why must I receive Jesus? But the lifestyle of this guy is the same as the lifestyle. Our group of people say, "We know what's going on." We are not going to do that. We are not But Sunday, they are the ones who are holding the mic and singing. Now I've got a problem. There's no need for me to be saved because my lifestyle, lady, their lifestyle is the same, and they claim to love the Lord, their God, with all of their heart, their mind, their spirit, and everything. But our lifestyle is the same. Today, repeller in atmosphere or environment, whereby Batu Abato Sokulu are failure because I'm a good preacher. Chanita Basukulu because they want the lifestyle that I live. Mara, some of you as Christians, your lifestyle is not attractive to the kingdom, it's attractive to the system of the world. Because why? Mudimu Ole Morata Gadi Action Egamonze, Ale Morata Gadi Pelo Zalon. Ask the question What can I do to inherit? eternal life the only thing in is yeah yeah all of us will love god the reason why i'm saying so when when for example hello hi guys and i'm going to know how carlo one over some my way over the modem hey we are going to call god we believe in it a drunkard drunkard poop drunk a him will come out of that guy because it's in our nature to love so again, to you, Kupamo RBC, and everybody listening to my voice, let this Jesus manifest on the inside and also on the outside. Then you shall inherit the eternal life of God. Before I sit down, I just want to pray with you. You know your your status of life. Uh, I'm not the one to judge you. I'm not the one to mark you off as if you are going to heaven. Remember, my duty is to bring you to Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Cannot turn the key of eternal life. He's the one who can save you. So I want to pray with you if you are here. I'm not talking about membership of church. I'm not talking about a tither. I'm not talking about a bombayaka or pelalin every day. I'm speaking about you inheriting eternal life. Not just actions on the outside, but action on the inside. One thing Ellen guaranteed nobody lives forever we are all going to die one day when you die do you know your destiny where you are going i told you up front when i die do not write on my tombstone may your soul rest in peace no 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 i'm telling you today when i die my soul is in the hands of the lord he said don't wish for my soul to be at peace my soul is at peace in the arms of the lord so that's what i want also in your life so that you can have an assurance that the day when that day comes you know who you are safe in the arms of the lord and that day can come any day there's no scheduled date there's no scheduled time direction a policy defense I'm going to gain what I offer just like that offer to enjoy the good news and the devil come on his snacks he's going to play you this sermon going down hell or more you had a chance you rejected it now you are mine I'm going to deal with you so if you are here I'm talking to you and you have never received the Lord Jesus as your personal savior don't worry I won't put things your skin sky sky I cannot raise a blade to move it to look at baby later how do you mean I got below how evil like a mullum or how and it is done your name will be written in the lens book of life I'm gonna show today no and that's a little show we're gonna spend our eternity together so I wanna pray with you 
if only thing you have never received the Lord Jesus as your personal savior. You can just come up front. If this is my day, this is my season. I'll be doing injustice if I don't give you this opportunity to receive the Lord Jesus as your personal savior. By the way, we are still gonna preach for a thousand years. Mara, if these things they don't get into your system, then you go straight to hell. Hell has got nothing to do with membership has got all to do with the confession that I made with my mouth or I'm receiving the Lord Jesus as my personal Savior. Can you just close our eyes wherever you are? If you are there, you head, I'm speaking to you. Can you just come up front so that you can right now? I don't want to close the savings because I'll offer this opportunity. It will be wrong of me to preach for such an hour without you receiving Jesus as your personal Savior. He's here, man. He loves you. He honors you. Let's close our eyes because my father now at the Satan you intimidate about so when I just close your eyes Jason now that the and I can have my brother also let's go morale if you know that you have never confessed to Jesus I give you like a membership demand I give you like a cool of it so you will like a more like Jesus on the inside of you and your life will never be the same but I'm not gonna call a promotion of a jump up on miracle because favor I'm doing with a CT Jesus as think I'm open on a color more getting on it's a more getting we live on a more getting is yeah me matter the question or are you sure hundred percent that Jesus Jesus lives on the inside of you. Has the Ngamara how it will be in vain for you to come here every Sunday and still remain the same. Baba Mbaruna, Renano Repulusi to Kale, Marona Dilo Tessanzani Dilo Tuarella, Tamabane, especially Lamoiji, Le Tapa Lizu Mumulu Mungaha. You can't claim that Rosamali Jesu, Marahau Kuata Man, Tuato Mumulu Mungaha, a contradictor. Feel ashamed, just so, or if you are ashamed of me before the crowd, let not as you know, Shuang, I'm gonna be ashamed of you before my father. So, please, if I'm talking to you, come. There is still a, a hole that Satan is in your life. I give you a note. You don't want to talk Satan is a hold upon your life. Can you please come so that I pray with you today? And then from there, everything will change in your life in Jesus' name. Can you just stretch your hands a little bit towards the front? I'm going to pray with this one. You go on prepare the fella only three glasses to communion. I give it to you. just lalo, and God will do the rest in your lives. Can go a little bit enough than now. Hearing heavenly Father. You know my life. You know how I lived before you. Sena mopilunyaka. Onye morena. Wabopilo baka. I surrender. Toto tetele limona. Mama toho ngamorena Jesus. Kiabule la kamulo mwaka. As from today, my life. My will, never be will never be the same, the same again. again. I belong, I belong to, Jesus. to Jesus. Father, as they came and made this confession, I pray, Father, that we, as we confirm it, any demon spirit, any hold over your life, I crush it right now in the spirit. The same spirit who raised Jesus from the dead, and the what you have in store for them. from now onwards, every step is direct to according to your will for their lives. We thank you, Father, for this grace. Thank you. For this grace, a man who no more one where I better tap you in our answer. Is that do? Is that? So, who bella is a way to do when I'm aware I better tap you in my eyes or more one. One person. One person. Please. Please. You know yourself. Don't worry about your name. You know yourself. If you pray that prayer, all the day on the Mufats, or can not have a so that you can partake. Slalo is a guy sitting. It is a pillion so that three. Thank you, uh, my sister. Thank you. Thank you. Papa Mbalo, I'm going to go to the house. I'm 
madiale ane nga thaila na le kukwana thukunya na ya satane tsa maile this gone yeah i've seen it this gone tsa maile ka madiye mrena jeso so re tlo patheka in communion communion re no re tsa contracta e mpha le ntate modimo eh se ka se la lo girile se nna go mora go re tla bela nkwatiso a ka dilo tsere tsa tsa baka ke to go every day e tlise go ane ne jima yo di di plastic ke mazo